Hey y'all, I'm out here again. I did some research and I found the site of an 1860s stagecoach stop. And uh, as you can see, there's a bunch of walls still up. This was kind of a crossroads. The stagecoach trail goes up there. You can see it going up that way. The only bummer is it's right next to a freeway and there's not really a parking area. There's a little pull-off spot, so hopefully uh, no cops see my car and decide to uh, investigate. It says it's a county park, which uh, kind of is in my favor. I wouldn't want to do this at a state park and definitely not a national park, but uh, let's get started and I'll see you on the first signal. All right, as I moved into the walled area, I started uh, running out of signals. There was not much. There was a lot of weird big iron sounds outside there. Here we got a 13 though. 12, 13 right there. And it sounds kind of deep. Nope, it's right there. That is a little, little bitty 22 rimfire. All right, let's keep going. All right, trying another section. We got something in the 20s here. Is it this? It's just a rock, ain't it? Yeah. It's pretty. Hmm. Sounding big now, I guess it's probably a can. Since everything else is. Nope, this is wire again. I wonder how old this stuff is. Look at that, see? Someone's been here before. And they found stuff like that. And they left it all on the surface. Nope, this is wire again. I wonder how old this stuff is. Look at that, see? Someone's been here before. And they found stuff like that. And they left it all on the surface. We've got a 13 here. 12, 13. Hopefully a bullet, that'd be better than more scraps of wire. Didn't think so. Oh, heck yes. That is neither of those. That is a cufflink. Oh, I think. I believe. Pretty positive. A real old cufflink. Flippin' sweet. It says, Cone's Boss. Huh. And it's got a little lantern on it. I'm gonna have to look that up. All right, well, before I filled in the hole, there's another one. There's another eight, nine, ten. Sounds like someone's in a shooting range over there. Let's see, it sounds like it's on this side of the hole, I would say. Okay, so either it's out of the hole. Yeah, that's it, it's out of the hole. That one's a bullet. Cool. Okay, so turns out I forgot to change the, <clears throat> the SD card in my GoPro, so no more live digs, unfortunately. Especially because I just found something good. Look at this. It's, uh, it's the clippy part of a pen. You put it on a pen or a pencil, 
and it's a fancy, fancy old one. I don't know if this was a, if they used to have these so that you could uh, take them from pencil to pencil if they were removable and you'd keep them. But look at that. It's not silver because it's ringing up like a, like a 910 on the thing. I'm guessing it's lead since uh, that's what it's ringing up. But that is so cool. Never seen something like that. All right, let's keep going. All right, we got a head stamp. It's a Winchester 1901 repeater. That means it dates from uh, 1901 to 1919. Someone has clearly been here before me. There's lots of, uh, you know, anything they didn't want to keep. It was too big for their pouch, they just tossed it along the wall. That's one of those old, old, old cans with the lead solder right there. So that's how you know this is a good old sight. We got a very smooshy bullet. Smush, smush, smush. Ha, <laughs> ha,